In this video, you will see the key differences between working with 2D CAD software and ARCHICAD. We've divided this comparison into categories to make it easier to digest. You see the comparison, including utilization at different project phases, and then going more technical about the differences of 2D blocks versus ARCHICAD favorites, layer management, publishing and file formats, and element data. Just to let you know, this is not a full comparison, including every detail, but we are focusing on the most important ones. There's a conceptual difference regarding the software usage at different project stages. 2D CAD drawings are mainly used whenever we enter the design development phase or have a concept design that we can document in more detail. Architectural mass modeling or conceptual design often happens in a third-party application which is possibly more flexible regarding 3D modeling. On the other hand, ARCHICAD can be your tool for early design as well. You can work with the same software from start to finish, so you can save time because there is no need to transfer your design. You don't have to create a separate 3D model for referencing, as your design documents are generated from the central ARCHICAD model. Now let's take a look at some more specific technical differences and similarities. Blocks are one of the key features of 2D CAD solutions. Blocks can be stored with the project and you can place them wherever you need without redrawing the symbol again. If you change the block symbol, every placed instance of that block will be updated automatically, saving time. ARCHICAD, on the other hand, doesn't have this system. Instead, it has a method called favorites. You can save a favorite of any element and apply the same settings for particular 3D objects. It can be done to more identical elements simultaneously by using filtering or selection methods, such as the find and select option. It will select all elements that fulfill the criteria and you can apply a specific favorite to all of those elements in one go. With ARCHICAD comes an extensive library, including 2D symbols, that you can use for documentation. Next up, let's have a look at the layer management. In both solutions, either CAD or BIM with ARCHICAD has layers on which you can place your drawing or modeling elements. You can choose the layers in a very similar fashion in both solutions. Those have identical features, such as locking and turning them on or off. In ARCHICAD, we can set up layer combinations. You can apply layer combinations to views and save those changes to the view map. This way, you can set up outputs for different purposes easily. Other than what we've just covered, let's look at the project structure. In 2D CAD, you usually organize your project in one modeling space. Every piece of your drawing is in this one modeling space, but on a different location. For drawing sheet management, you can set up viewports referring to different parts of the model space on the layouts. In ARCHICAD, you have a complete overview of the project, which you can see on the Navigator palette. Here are all the stories, sections, elevations, 3D windows, details and independent worksheets, which are similar to the CAD's modeling space, and even the interactive schedules can be accessed separately. Now a bit more about publishing. In CAD applications, you can set up your layouts using viewports that have references to the modeling space. After that, you use plotting for export where you can set up the paper size, format and other settings. In ARCHICAD, you can use the layout book, a different tab on the navigator. Within the layout book, there are master layouts that serve as a preset frame for your layouts. You can place a drawing from the view map to a layout by dragging, dropping and adjusting it. You can print directly from the layouts in ARCHICAD, or you can save a layout in a PDF or any other format. Furthermore, layouts can be organized into publisher sets. You can specify the output format and execute the export of all the documentation with the push of a button. It's a powerful tool of ARCHICAD that supports various formats including DWG, IFC, PDF and more. It's important to note that ARCHICAD fully supports DWG workflows. There's a dedicated DWG translator inside with which you can set up how you want to import and export DWG drawings with ARCHICAD. 
Remember, a beam element is not just geometry, it also carries valuable information. If you take a look at the properties of a wall, for example, you can set up the geometrical parameters, of course, but at the same time, you can add specific values to its properties, such as structural function, position, fire resistance, and more. You can even create your own properties that can be assigned to classifications. So if an element is classified as a wall, it will get the wall properties and we can fill those values. This information then can be extracted in interactive schedules or as an auto text for documentation. In 2D CAD applications, since there are no 3D elements, you cannot assign any information to those. You have to update all additional building construction information in a manual way. That concludes this comparison between 2D CAD workflows and ARCHICAD.